When buying a laptop for Linux, there are a lot of things you expect to be broken or just kinda flaky. Things like your Wi-Fi chip, maybe your fingerprint reader, even things like your fan control. But I really doubt that webcam was on your list of concerns. But luckily, Intel is here to make purchasing a good Linux laptop even more confusing. While general Alder Lake support is fairly good on Linux, Intel's new camera tech, not so much. This system is known as MIPI IPU6. MIPI is a style of camera module, and IPU6 is Intel's newest version of their integrated image processing unit. Now you might notice there is an extra I in there. I don't know why, take it up with Intel. Now this is a function of Intel CPUs and has been there since 11th gen Tiger Lake. But from my understanding, there were no consumer available devices that used this until 12th gen Alder Lake. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some like proprietary computer vision stuff, but it certainly wasn't something you had to worry about on like regular consumer laptops. So what's the problem then? Well, these cameras work a little bit differently from a regular webcam. So most of the webcams out there, whether it's built into a laptop or it's a standalone webcam like the C920, the Brio, or if it's a capture card, or pretty much any USB video device is going to be a UVC device, a USB video class device. And these have drivers on Linux, and they mostly work really well. But these IPU6 devices, they don't have drivers. And if you try to use it on Linux, nothing's going to happen. They will not function. This doesn't affect every single old like laptop. There are some devices like the Framework, for example, which work really well on Linux. They're just using a regular webcam. And there's going to be a lot of other devices that are using a regular webcam. But right now it is known that the Dell XPS 13, 9315, the 9320, and the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, the X1 Yoga G7, and the Nano G2 do not have functional webcams on Linux. And as more devices come out and more devices are tested, I and anybody else who knows about this expects to see a lot more devices with broken webcams on Linux. This would still be annoying, but it wouldn't be a major deal if on the product page for these devices, it said if it was using a MIPI IPU6 camera or not. But when was the last time you read a product page and it ever mentioned the tech behind the webcam? Maybe once, maybe you saw like some really techy company, but probably never. Usually information like that is relegated to the spec sheets and you're probably unlikely to see it in a review unless the review is a Linux focused review. Now, Lenovo does actually mention this. On their website, they list it as computer vision. So if you're buying a Lenovo device, there is that to look out for, but it's not obvious that's not gonna work on Linux. And due to this, Greg Crawl Hartman, who's basically Linus's second in command, had this to say. In reply to someone saying, for the time being, I agree with your recommendation to not buy these devices if you care about camera support. He had to say, I second this, don't buy these devices if the vendor is not willing to get their drivers upstream properly. But all hope isn't lost. If this was NVIDIA, I wouldn't expect to get anywhere anytime soon. But Intel has a fairly good track record of supporting FOSS. So right now, there are drivers available on their GitHub for the Intel Alder Lake and Intel Tiger Lake platforms. And these drivers work as a fairly good stopgap. But there are three major problems with these drivers. Problem number one is they are not suitable to be upstreamed in the kernel. They're not in the style of kernel code. And they also rely on a vendor specific user space API rather than everything else that uses V4L2, video for Linux 2. Problem number two, while it might work, this is not intended for every OEM device running an IPv6 camera. In reply to an email, Intel stated, 
Intel is not yet ready to provide technical support to various Linux distros and OEM devices at this moment with Intel IPU6 GitHub. Intel is supporting Dell Laptop and their MIFI camera functionality on Ubuntu with release integration from Canonical. If you are using Dell devices, please refer to the devices listed in this link. I'll leave the link down below. You can learn the latest updates from the installation guide. Problem number three. Because Intel is only actively supporting Ubuntu right now, the only version of the kernel that has been extensively tested is 5.15. Right now, the latest version of the kernel I have is 5.18.16, and there are newer versions in the works. You can use it on later versions, past 5.18 to make some modifications. There are some people over on the Arch forums that are running it perfectly fine, so it seems like it's working but Intel is only ready to support it on this version. All of this stuff feeds back into the same problem that the drivers are not ready to be upstreamed. You can use it on these newer kernel versions. There are some modifications you need to make here, and there's some people over on the Arch forums who are basically trying to get it working. It seems like from what I've read, they have managed to do so, but it does require quite a bit of tinkering to actually get there. All of this stuff put together basically feeds into the fact that these kernel drivers are not ready to be upstreamed. Also, I may be incorrect here, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe anyone has packaged these over on the AUR yet, and if they have, I have no idea what they've called the package. That's it for the kernel space, but the user space isn't much better. In many ways, it might actually be worse. So I mentioned the vendor-specific API. So right now, the user space stack relies on a proprietary user space daemon. This daemon is used to go and run the complex imaging algorithms used for a MIPI IPU6 camera to actually function. And to make this, you know, work with Linux software, because nothing in Linux expects for this weird API to be there, it goes and creates a loopback video device that will emulate the V4L2 API. This will make it so it works in your browser as like a Discord camera or OBS or anywhere else you might want a camera to be used. And according to Laurent Pinchart, who knows way more about cameras and Linux than I do, there is no way to make this work on a pure V4L2 camera stack, which is the only camera stack that is natively supported on Linux. And this isn't just a problem with IPU6, this was also a problem with the earlier IPU3 as well. But as it currently stands, there is literally no way to have these cameras working on a fully Libre distro. Right now, you require this proprietary daemon. On the bright side, because IPU3 was such a pain to get working, everybody in the know sort of expected anything new to also be a pain as well. So there is a project called Lib Camera. This is where the user space support for IPU3 comes from. It's not as good as the proprietary solution, but it works. And it working is better than it not working. And Laurent Pinchart, who I already mentioned, is actually one of the developers of Lib Camera. He said on the mailing list, now the question is how we can get IPU6 support in Lib Camera. If it's possible, they would like to do it. The first problem to fix will be the availability of kernel drivers. But Sergei Senoshotsky, which I probably completely butchered, did propose an alternative solution. The plan here is to land the cam kernel API first and then switch IPU, the driver and user space to it so that upstreaming for Intel will be easier. This is a Google camera project with the source coming from Chrome OS, but nothing over there has been fully finalized yet. They did already try to get it upstreamed, but the initial kernel mailing list response wasn't exactly positive. But Greg is at least willing to hear them out and see what can be done. So Sergey says this is probably not going to take weeks. We're more talking about months to get this done. So Greg responds by saying, Okay, so getting this merged is a good year out at best, realistically two years, given that once you submit the first version for review, the real work will start happening. Lauren also chimed in to say, if I were to bet, I'd say no less than a year. And even then, as stated separately, you have to convince the upstream community that the API is suitable. It would be best to work with upstream today on a proposal that pleases all parties and not wait a year for a full implementation to be ready, submitted, and rejected. 
start working and getting feedback early rather than waiting all the way to the end and then finding out that it's just not going to be suitable. So right now, the vanilla Linux kernel does not have any IPU6 drivers. If you want an out-of-box experience, you basically need to use Ubuntu, or you could go and use Chrome OS. I wouldn't recommend that one, so Ubuntu it is. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the other user-friendly distros do start shipping this, like Fedora, Manjaro, PopOS, and things like that, but I don't have any confirmation of that happening. So let me know down below, have you bought one of these devices yourself? Are you in the market for a new laptop and sort of want to know what's best to buy? I would love to know. And if you do have any experience working with the kernel, working with cameras, please do offer your support. I would like this to be supported as quickly as possible. I don't have an IPU6 camera, but I don't like it that people just buy a new laptop and it's not working on Linux. That'll be it for me. If you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of... That's the wrong button. Why'd you go there? Uh, these are these people over here. Go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the link down below. Um, podcast, Tech of a Tea, gaming channel, Brother Optimum Plays. That's going to be it for me. I don't know why OBS did that and I'm out.